Running backs have a lot to do on the field, whether it's hitting a hole, breaking a tackle, protecting your quarterback. Well, Simpson running back DeMarco Young does all of that and a whole lot more with no excuses. The many sounds of football. For Simpson freshman running back DeMarco Young, the sounds are different. I've always believed that I can do anything but here. Deaf can do everything. I can communicate as long as I have access. I find another way if my interpreter's not there through texting or writing. Um, as long as I have communication, I've always believed I can do anything. DeMarco has proven that with a strong start to his college career. Oh my word, DeMarco, DeMarco Young. Young at the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10. Young, DeMarco Young makes a statement run to just put... DeMarco's journey to college football started with a huge risk. DeMarco grew up at the Louisiana School for the Deaf, but didn't think he could achieve his athletic goals at a deaf school. His family moved to Sioux City and DeMarco took on the challenge of a hearing school for the first time. When DeMarco started his freshman year at South Sioux High School in Nebraska, the biggest challenge that he faced was no one could understand him, even his interpreters. ASL has different dialects. None of the interpreters understood DeMarco's. He was labeled deaf and special needs. I didn't understand them, they didn't understand me. My GPA, was like a 1.3, it was no good. And then Miss Dawn, Hab Hab, my interpreter, um, came to visit me and finally I had a language match. For the first time since moving away from Louisiana, DeMarco met someone who could understand him. I met him, he was extremely down and um, appeared broken and we just had a little chat. He's like, I'm an athlete, they, they don't understand me, they won't let me play. Um, I am a good student, but I'm failing everything. Shortly after meeting, Don discovered just how tough DeMarco's life outside of school had been. It wasn't until probably the end of my first week of work with him that he looked at me and said, do hearing people just live in cars? And I was like, no. He goes, that's not normal? I said, no. We're homeless. And I was like, oh, you know, school didn't know. Don helped the young family. They landed a place to live, food, and furniture. After having a language match, DeMarco's GPA went up from a 1.3 to a 4.0. The next hurdle getting on the football field. He had a PE class and they were running flying 10s in the dome at South Sioux and he ran a .88 flying 10. And the teachers looked and went, can you do that again? Because they're thinking the transponder might have been off. And I said, they want you to do it again. He goes, okay, .88. DeMarco gets on the track team his freshman year and the football coaches were blown away. This kid that was just a water boy in the fall was flying on the track. As a sophomore in 2021, DeMarco earns the starting job and runs wild. 1,174 yards to go with 11 touchdowns. Then as a junior, Young transferred to Sioux City North in Iowa. More of the same, running for nearly 1,200 yards. As a senior, DeMarco's biggest accomplishment was walking across the stage. A story of resilience made possible because of communication. To see him take every opportunity, knowing that he has support and excelling to the highest level he possibly can and then thinking he can go even further and, and succeeding, it is miraculous. I always look at barriers like they're hurdles and I jump those hurdles and break the rules so that people behind me who are deaf will be able to look up to me and not have the struggles I did, and they'll be able to succeed as well. DeMarco is still clearing hurdles. He's a first generation college student clearing the way for his family in the deaf community. In part two, 
I'll show you how DeMarco is adapting to college on the field and in the classroom, plus how his foundation is paving the way for the deaf community.